Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my let's play of Europa Universals 3 Divine Wind as England. Now in the last episode um, we finished off the war with France um, which is actually a vessel of, um, not a vessel, in a personal union with Sweden. Um, what will happen when he dies? doesn't say. I'm say marriage is Milan, so it should tell me when I have a look on there. France gets inherited. Holy cow. <laughs> that would be rather funny to see a blob of Sweden randomly in English-controlled France. But, um, for now we will have to deal with Burgundy. More and more people joining the war. Well, navy wise, I don't believe they have that much that can pester us. Do we still have. Yeah, we still have access over here. So we'll start patrolling, which will not stop all of them, but will at least stop Holland and Burgundy from trying to land troops. And if Aquila can get all the way across there, I can't remember to start my timer. Um, more power to them, to be honest. Nice to see that Venice is. Oh, it looks like Byzantium isn't doing as well as it was. Albania and everyone's broken free. See, Syria's got its name written on there now. It should be so happy. The fact that it has a province which um, makes it almost impossible to research. It's his own fault. Oh, we've won our first battle. Yep, they might as well merge up. Switzerland. Actually, let's have a quick look at the diplomatic map. What the hell's going on? Half the empire. Basically. I'll... No, not half of it, but... Almost the majority of the empire, as in, that borders me. There's um, two two provinces that aren't actually involved in this war that are along my border. Sorry, not two provinces, two countries. Right, we are manpower low, so we actually need to primarily work on killing armies. And we've just wasted all our spies in Spain. Uh, revolt in the Western Isles, unknown country succeeds, battle of the coast of Holland. Alright, you'll start dealing with that? Yeah. Once you have dealt with that, please come to Orkney. I thought I had already told you that, but obviously not. Um, no, what ha most likely happened was obviously yes, but you're set to hunt rebels, so you then went away from where I told you to go. Our infamy is still actually going down at over one per year, which is useful, to say the least. Uh, where are you all going? Primarily to Holland, um, and there's already an army there, so let's chase them down. A visit from some shady people. Don't need the prestige. Spies, yes. And which are the larger of the countries that are against us? We can basically see all of Burgundy anyway. So let's have a go for Bravia, either Holy Roman Emperor. You are either Holy Roman Emperor as well, so... You failing in this war may let um, Bohemia or Austria in. Yeah, there's your capital, Munich. Send, infiltrate the administration. It's 51%. Succeeded was not discovered. At least that's making up for the prior times. And I guess it'd be nice to see um, Switzerland as well. Infiltrate the administration. Succeeded was not discovered. Oh, this is going well. And which other country? Uh, Brant's a little 
deep I can't really see actually I know I'm going to keep this spy just in case yeah we'll keep this spy is it just me or does the name England just there look a bit pathetic when it used to be all the way along that I mean as far as I'm concerned it should now be England yeah. going in between France and then curving all the way, maybe up even to Iceland. But, no it doesn't, unfortunately. Uh, we've won another battle in Holland. And where's the provinces we're at war with again? Now, oh, that's the Empire. You're the lesser part of the Union, so we can't even actually do anything about you. Don't really have the morale to siege. Hmm. Let's... Actually, uh, one second. I don't know why my voice was actually just going a little bit hoarse there. Um, we don't have the morale to siege. So instead, let's try and finish, take off some of, more of these armies. Holy cow, I've let too much build up over here. <laughs> siege was probably actually going rather well, but... As I said, we actually want to be focusing on taking out armies. We have a good size manpower, but we don't have the number of troops required, really, to not to take them on all at once. So if we can, while they're split up, we need to take them out. And thankfully, you're running away in a stupid direction. You could have joined up with um, your previous... I'm fine with Switzerland having that, as long as it doesn't go back to Burgundy. Uh, we've won another battle. How are we doing on the army side of things? Still losing, but I believe... We are actually improving the odds. Uh, bow on all treaties and pay a little bit, that's fine. That's for army destroyed. They're attacking, so let's run over here. 4th of April. Can we catch them? 18th. Where are you going? Gah! Let me select you. 31st. Yep, we can catch them. No, we can't. We're nowhere near. Uh, they will leave nerves on the 1st. We'll arrive in the 6th. Let's go here instead then. Now up here. That's 12,000 Swiss that we will hopefully... Hey, we've converted some people. 12,000 Swiss that we will hopefully destroy. No, we wasn't quite able to. Um, let's chase them down. They're heading to Berry. Oh, this army's sitting doing sod all. And dealing with them little troops isn't really going to help. I'll bring you down and we'll deal with the um, larger armies that are down here. Problems in Reykjavik, but it'll be dealt with. Revolting Fife. Ah, but it won't be dealt with because I've taken him off Hunt Rebels. And thanks to the Dutch, my orders weren't followed. So you might as well come down to Fife first, deal with them, then go up to Orkney. Should be these Swiss destroyed? No, still not. Have to chase them down again. Ah, uh, discovered spy. Cast a spell against Switzerland. Ah, uh, let's see. A good battle. Finally killed, destroyed them all. Let's send you up here because they have less morale. I'm going too high, but... Yep, Reykjavik was dealt with. And you're wanting peace, a white peace. You do have gold. And colonies. But, am I that fussed that you're in the war? You're just somebody to, you know, some a few less troops. Um, I haven't got the infamy to spend to take the gold provinces off you. And that would put me a lot further into the Holy Roman Empire, so we'll accept that. 
Actually, probably should have seen if I would have... Ah, oh, that's why. You lost even more provinces to Hungary. Um, oh, you're running away, 17th. You'll get there on the 18th. You stay here then and besiege. That has taken that back. Have another go at getting to him. It's not going to work. Try and maybe... Central Sahara not fussed about. Won a naval battle against Holland. The battle has been won in five, please say. And you're sodding retreating the wrong way to help me, you damn rebels. They want to kill you too, Scotland. Um. Hmm. You retreat up to Cat Cranberry, see if they one in the order of France. The majority of you are heading to Cannes. For now, actually, you come back down here and deal with the other ones. Hopefully, we'll finish them both off. A Battle of Orkney has been won, as, lo as well as the Battle of the Ramp. So now you're actually off up to deal with Battle of Cannes, Battle of the Rob. No. Where the hell are you going? Are oh, you still actually set to hunt rebels? <laughs> Champagne is most likely about to fall. There is too many people there for this one army to deal with. Um, come through this way. Actually, no, yeah. You was right. Go that way. Cleves, um, are you an elector? You are not. So, I'm not doing anything that means me losing the war. Burgundy, decline. Although, to be honest, Burgundy, you're not the war leader anymore, so. That's all I want. Although, to be honest, Bar would also be quite nice, but. Um, I think I took that. Um, oh no, I also want Orkney, don't I? But I'm not going to be able to take them both. Oh, for crying me in sake. Well, let's continue to work on killing the... Um, Burgundy people. Peace offer from Switzerland. I will not release Normandy. What makes you think Switzerland? I mean, yes, you've got a slight war score on me, but that's not going to last long. You move up to here. In fact, you stay where you are. We're going to try and take out their largest army. But we will... Yes, yes, yes. We will try and take them all at once. A military leader is dead. I'm glad that happened just prior to battle instead of during like normally. Um, yes, we'll recruit a new general then. Whoa! Double, double lines of everything. Now come in here. We'll end up with basically the same size army but I would think we will fight better being that we are all you know, one army. Battle of Orkney has been won. Let's see actually I mean, he's not doing too bad. We've got a hell of a lot better morale. Um, he wasn't doing too bad while he was outnumbered. To a point where now that they've merged up, we actually outnumbered them. Siege of Orkney is gone. Good. Uh, you come back here. Is Orkney small enough for us just to take? No. So yeah, you go there. Are you guys willing to offer anything sensible? Uh, no, England will do nothing. Come on, get them. Trade technology advances. That's nice. Ah, that also means it's no longer... In fact, before we decide what we're putting into technology, we're now only orange, not... Um red, which is 
is nice. Uh, let's compare ourselves to Switzerland, which uh, Lantec 8. Yep, we're falling behind in Lantec, so all of our money is going to go into that. I believe we may have enough money to get us through the year at that as well, so that's fine. Um, that's the end of another episode. Uh, as always, I would like to thank you for watching and say goodbye. Goodbye.